Hi, Mark. How are you today? Hey, Scott. I'm good. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to uh, start off by saying I'm such a, a big supporter and fan of your work. I mean, going back to your breakout hits like Monster Ball and Finding Neverland. Um, I think I want to actually start with that. Um, the industry has changed so much since those films. Do you feel like the impact that it has had at the changes have made it easier or harder to make films nowadays? I mean, it's uh, partly it's uh, probably easier to make films because there there's so much content that is needed, but at the same time, it's you have it's it's harder to get your uh, attention to your film because there is so, so much content out there that it's impossible to see everything because you have such high content level in television or streaming, and then you have such you know high content in 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 films as well, uh, on the independent side and the feature side. And because of all it, it's, it's very hard to consume everything. Uh, and I, I'm sure you, you're confronted with that every day because every day. you're reporting on it. So it's, it's like even harder that you have to pick and choose what you actually want to, you know, give you, spend your time with. And I think for that, it's, it's almost impossible for, for one person to, to see everything. And, and that, that somehow for someone who loves me, loves movies sometimes it's hard because it's just you know i used to see so many films and and now i feel like i'm i'm getting like oh should i see this should i see that should i see that you, and and i don't like i'm not one of these people who likes to start watching a movie for 20 minutes and then and then if i don't like it stop it i'm like if i start i want to finish it yeah i feel you that's how i am too that's why i think tv is a little bit easier because yeah. you can watch one episode of something, and if you don't like it, you know not to continue it. But with movies, I feel like I have no right to talk about a movie unless I finish it. I feel the same, yeah. Um, I, I, you know, we get at this question a lot. I think actors get this a lot about the audition process. So I would actually like to know what was your process like getting involved with this project. Uh, you know, I, I read the book and I fell in love with the book and I saw the Swedish version of the film and I, I, I thought that was a very good movie, really enjoyed that. And I thought this story needs to be told on a more universal uh, scope. More people have to see this story be and be exposed to the story because Otto is a character that we all know and we all either have in our lives or, or sometimes reminds us of ourselves. But uh, I felt like... And, and it's a life affirming story and it brings a community together. And, and I feel like almost like community coming together. It's like, I felt like, oh, this film has to experience in, in a movie theater with other people because we're coming, because we are social beings. We have to come together as a community in the theater. And then we feel people laugh, we feel them cry. And, and that's excited me because I feel that we are also polarized these days. And I feel that that message and that story really touched me and, and uh, sort of, the dramatic and dark aspects of the story of his loneliness and hum, him not wanting to be around anymore and then him finding purpose in life and ultimately saying this is why i need to live and and i think all of that just inspired me because uh, i think that you know these times we live in are, are pretty pretty intense yeah i want to actually kind of jump off what you just said one of the things that really stuck out to me about this movie was the tone I felt like you did such an amazing job of balancing like moments of humor with like really hard moments like of depression and, you know, suicidal thoughts. And I want to know as a filmmaker, how did you strike that right tone? And was it, was it a difficult process? Like, I, I don't know how you did it, but I, I was very impressed with that. It, it was lo lots of it in editing, you know, finding the right balance also with, with music and score and, and, and for and trying to combine, you know, the flashbacks and uh, and present day that is sort of seamless. There's like a, an emotional continuity between the two worlds that doesn't that you don't sort of disconnect suddenly with Otto and you're in this other world that you stay you stay connected. And I, I think this just took time of massaging and massaging and editing. And ultimately, the film wouldn't come out, but we'd probably still massage it. <laughs> Yeah, and I listen, I, I'm going to have to run, but I, I want to just tell you that I hope the movie does really well. I, I was very surprised by how emotional I got while watching this. You made me cry, so congratulations. I don't I do not do that all that much. I think I cried in one other film this year. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you very much. And I think this is a wonderful film, especially for the holiday release. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for supporting it. 
and good to see you. Good to see you. Take care.